guys, this is Steven, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stabilize your shaky footage like I did in the example of the before and after. Let's get started. We're going to create a new composition. I have mine at 1280 by 720 at 24 frames per second. And we're going to drag in our clip. And the first thing we want to do is go up to Window and make sure that Tracker is checked. Once that is checked, a little box will appear right here in this corner. And first we're going to do is hit our motion source and select that to M or whatever your clip is, name. We're going to make sure our cursor, this red line right here, is at the very beginning before we start anything. Otherwise it'll start motion tracking in between, and we don't want that. We want it from the very beginning. First thing we're going to do after that is going to hit stabilize motion, and you'll be given a track point and you have options for the track point. Since this example is mostly X and Y axis, meaning it goes left and right and up and down, and not Z, we do not need to hit the scale. The scale would be going the Z axis, which would be going forward and backwards, but we don't need to worry about that since our example is X and Y. However, if you need you know, that sort of motion tracking, feel free to check it. So now we're going to take our track point right here and put it on a point of high contrast. What this will do, it'll make it After Effects way easier to track. So we're going to take it and bring it up on this little red light right here because that's a point of very high contrast. The inner box is needs to be like right around it and the outer box is the search box so if it leaves this little first box right here It'll go into the search box, which then it'll readjust immediately to find the red dot or other point of contrast that you chose again. So we have that. That looks pretty good. I usually like making my outer boxes pretty large, like that. And after we have that, all we do is hit this little key right here. It says Analyze Forward, and hit it, and we're going to let it sit. I'm going to fast forward this part just to save you guys the time. Now it created all these little key points where it saw the red orb and it'll depend on how big your clip is and how long it is and how long this will take. So that didn't take very long so what we're gonna do is hit edit target make sure that this is the same and then we're gonna hit apply. Apply dimensions X and Y. Okay. And now we have all of these keyframes that have been created through the motion tracking thing. And we'll start from the beginning. And we see that it's actually really good. Now you will notice that the it'll go out of frame right here. But what you can do to remedy this is go into composition settings and make your composition a little smaller. Just so it doesn't go out of frame. But right now it looks pretty good. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, and um, if you can comment on it, like it, subscribe if you want to, that'd be cool. Alright, thanks guys.